Hello there and welcome to Complete Games. I'm James and this is the beginning of my new little mini-series we're doing before the release of Genesis Part 2. We're going to be going over all of the locations that you need to visit in order to unlock the Federation tech suit armour and eventually we're going to unlock the new Shadow Main Chibi. To take part in this challenge you need all of the DLC and we begin back on the island map. Oh, it's been a while since we've been back here. Look. There's our raft that we built in the original episode, my first YouTube video upload, which has got close to a quarter of a million views now. Who would have thought my first episode on the channel would be one of my highest viewed videos, but thank you so much for the support and it's good to be back. Ah, uh, look, here's all the crew here. We've got Goldie, Zigzag, of course, Attila, and I think we'll grab Attila on today's challenge. Now, I know that you can spawn all of this stuff in and use a cheat code, but I don't like messing around with the achievements. I still want to do some of the achievements, and uh, one of them would be defeating the Guardians on the centre map. That's another challenge I want to do one day. Of course, I do need to do Aberration and Extinction first. But yeah, I figured that you guys could follow along and I could show you the locations and... Uh, Perhaps you might want to take part in this challenge as well and get yourself a Shadow Main Chibi legitimately. So we need to head on over towards the Blue Obelisk and we need to visit the artifact of the Skylord Cave. So the entrance to the artifact of the Skylord Cave is just in this glacier up ahead, just to the back of the Blue Obelisk. And whenever you look at the map, you'll see a little horseshoe shape, so just aim for that sort of area. And the entrance is just at the bottom of this walkway here. So, you don't typically need a dinosaur when you're doing this cave, but we only actually need to go into the entrance here in order to get our first note. So let's just qu equip the HLNA skin. Wander inside and uh, we need to duck to get inside. There we go. I should have bought a flashlight on the end of my shotgun, but there we go. It's a bit brighter in here. Uh, it's triggering it. Something weirdly nostalgic about this place. Reckon you must be used to the odd flash of deja vu, with all those old memory engrams knocking about your head. Seems an odd thing for a bit of AI like me to be feeling, though. So there we go, that's note one. And actually I won't aggro them spiders. We'll save our ammunition. But HLNA there has just had some memories from Helena. And we're just gonna head out to the artifact of the Cunning Cave, which is one of the two underwater caves on the map. The hardest of the two underwater caves. So I think this challenge will be a lot more difficult than just having to go into the entrance. So I'll see you when we get there. So we've just come over to the eastern side of the island map. As you can see there, I've got the swamp biome just behind me. And I like to find this location by just sticking to the 50 latitude line on the map. As you can see, my character's just sort of sat above it. And there's also a few rocks just poking out the ocean there as another landmark that you can follow. So you're going to need yourself some sort of underwater mount, probably a faster one than I've actually bought with me. Might be a bit of a risk taking a tiller in here. You're going to need some scuba gear or some Lazarus chowder. So I'm going to speed up the video, but the key in this cave here is stick to the left and stick low down. Okay, let's drop down.
th th this was insane! That was pure luck! I was not in control of that situation at all! <laughs> Look at this, Morty. Look at my f***ing hand. Look at this shit. Why do you keep doing this to us? I don't know, Morty. Maybe I hate myself. Maybe I think I deserve to die. I, 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 don't, I don't know. made it oh that was so lucky there Whew. see you later Moser. <laughs> now i don't recommend doing this on the back of a baryonyx now in hindsight we should have probably tamed up a couple of ichthy to get through here and do it quickly right let's just swap my armor around because there's a few onyx up the top here don't want to get any lurgy if we can but yeah, I think uh, an Ichthyosaurus might be a wiser choice to reach the back of this cave quickly. I was thinking that Attila wouldn't struggle to get up that ramp at the end though. And perhaps we could jump down and they would have all followed us into this room. But it might be a little bit tricky to get back, but we'll see. Okay, so we just need to get up to this little bridgeway up the top. So I'm just going to run past a load of these enemies here. Well, there's quite actually there's quite a lot of them in here. Um, let's just keep going. Okay, we got spidered, so we're going to have to fight at least some of them. Just keep backing up. Well, Teller is pretty powerful. Of course, underwater she's got a stun, but that's not much good in this water cave. Right, there's scorpions on us here and get out of the way so we can get the knock back. There we go. Got some high level ones. Taking a beat in this one. 290. Just get this last spider and I think we're all good. Okay, so the note unlock is just round the corner on this bridge just here. What I was thinking is we could just jump down from here and perhaps we've managed to escape most of what we've dragged, but now I'm a little bit nervous. Okay, here's the note. Funny that I almost remember being here. I don't mean just floating through the place like I'm doing now. I'm talking toes in the sand. Smell of the ocean sort of memories. Okay, so that's the second note. And, ah, oh, now we're going to have to get out of here. This is not looking good. And I guess we've just got to hope and pray. Let's put the scuba gear back on. And we made it in here by the skin of our teeth. Let's see if we can make it back out. And just put my pants on as well. Okay, and take the gloves off. Right, Attila, are you ready? Let's just jump behind this Moser here. Okay. So, oh no, is that a Tuso there as well? We've really got to watch out for them. They can just grab us off the mount. And I can't believe so many of them spawned in here. I'm sure I passed about three or four of them as we was coming into the cave. And... We'll just stay the course, keep low. Got that Moser on us at the moment. Tuso's alright, that's at the back though. Managed to avoid that one. Can tank the Moser just a little bit. Ah, oh, there's another one. This is going to be pretty close. Already halfway down. Oh, there's a group of sharks as well. At least they're not having the group bleed. Ah, oh, get out of the way, you stupid electric eels. Just use our stun. Come on, Attila, you can do it. Okay. Just keep going. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Oh, too so, too so. Oh, this is bad. That's pretty close. 
don't grab us, don't grab us. Oh, it's Schleds. Well, that's where the artifact is down there. Just come on, come on. No, no, Attila. Oh, Attila. gutted we've lost Attila and of course she was essential in helping us complete the island map so I was a bit silly to underestimate the artifact of the cunning cave there and I think we should have just done that on the back of an ichthyosaurus so I've tamed up a couple of ichthys now and we'll do the last underwater cave on the back of an ichthy but my bad and we've lost Attila but we're just outside the entrance to the artifact of the pack cave and we continue with note three. So let's just come inside. And I've brought my Phyla Collio Garfield with us. Just gamma up there. And we don't have to go too deep into this cave in order to grab the note. So let's just get Garfield out and HLN8. There we go. So it's just a little bit around the corner here. Just looking for the glowing rocks that irradiate a sort of light from them. Just take it slowly around this corner here. Can't see any enemies spawning in just yet, but they should start to soon. And I think the note is just here. No, a little bit further. Just green light. Yeah, just a little bit further on here. There we go. And oh, an anthro. Survivors spend most time around these parts. Did Helena leave me all her memories? <sighs> what a wicked parting gift that was. Well, sorry about the rude interrupt from the Amphipolora there. Couldn't quite hear what Helena was saying. But that's the third note from the artifact of the Pack Cave. And it's pretty much just in the entrance. Never usually see any enemies spawn in this area. So again, it's just one you can grab easy. So for the fourth and final note that we're going to need to unlock our exosuit boots, we've just come out to the western side of the map. I always use these group of rocks just here as a reference point and sat in the centre of them, if nobody's been building here, you'll see a willow tree. Here's my location on the map. And of course, the artifact of the brute cave is a lot easier than the artifact of the cunning cave, but I think the definitive way to grab either of these two notes is going to be on an ichthyosaurus, to be honest. And they are pretty much the quickest underwater tame. And I've just got a couple of basic ones here as well. They don't require much to tame, they are a passive tame. So let's just grab our first one. I figured I'd do two just in case. One dies when I get to the ramp at the end, if I'm not quick enough. 
So finding this cave is pretty easy. I'll just pump a couple of points of speed here. Just heading out from this outcrop of rocks just here. We want to follow the reeds down. And they kind of indicate which way we're going as well. Might have just come out a little bit too far because I can see the ocean's edge just here. That's okay. The biome barrier is just there as well. Just turn around, should be able to see the cave entrance. Sometimes gets hidden behind the reeds. There we are. So I can already feel that the Ichthyosaurus is definitely going to be the better choice if you're going to take on the underwater caves for this challenge. Of course we're not going in there to get any artifacts or loot hunting. These guys are pretty quick. Once again, just need to sort of follow ourselves around to the left hand side, keep low down. There's a few chambers leading this way. Just on our right is a usual loot spawn there. Just keep on coming up this end. And this way. Just gamma up so you guys can see things a little bit better. Now we've just loaded into this cave and come in pretty quick so I haven't actually seen anything spawn in yet. Oh there we go, there's our first Moser. And I do find this cave a lot easier. It's less sharks and the corridors are quite small for the Moses to get round but you will get the odd alpha in here. Here of course is the artifact but we just need to get to this ramp at the end here. And if I can pick up the ETH quick enough before the shark meets speedy. I think we should be good. There we go. Okay, so just up the top here is where we need to reach. I'll just put my armor back on. I can't remember if there's anything spawning on foot in this cave. I don't think there is. I know at the top here there is an explorer note. Or it's a dossier. It actually might be the uh, Tuso dossier. Just round to our right hand side up here. But we need this fourth note. Should trigger it just here. There we go. Funny thing having a head full of someone else's memories. You and I have had some adventures together, but I remember all the things Helena got up to while she was still human. And if I can remember being human, what does that mean about me? Am I her or am I me? Or am I both of us? <laughs> Bit of a mind blower, yeah? So that's the fourth and final note from HLNA on the island map. So let's get back to base and show off our new boots. So there you have it, that's part one of our challenge complete and we now have unlocked the Federation Tech Boot skin. And of course in part two we're going to be moving on to Scorched Earth and going after the Federation exosuit leggings. And when we've got a complete set of all of these items, we're gonna get ourselves a Shadow Main Chibi. And like I say, I wanna do this without cheating. But yeah, I'll just show you off the exosuit boots. They're nothing special, but I'm sure once we've got a complete set together, then the suit will look great. But it's more about unlocking that Shadow Main Chibi for myself. And as I said at the start, I don't wanna do it by cheating or messing with any of my achievements so we're going to do this legit but until next time i'm james from complete games and i'll see ya